Batman? Gandalf? Batman? Ow! You landed on my back, man. I'm Batman. No, I didn't say, hey, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Hey everyone, this is Randolph here. I have Jonathan Smith from TT Games, and we're sitting down about to play LEGO Dimensions, which is out real soon. Welcome, Jonathan. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here. It's an exciting day. It's the first time we're going to be able to play through LEGO Dimensions together. Yeah, and what we're actually not seeing right now is there's a portal in front of us and a whole load of, basically, LEGO toys. Can, can you talk us through what we're actually going to be doing here? Sure. So the game brings your toys to life. So we sell Lego figures in our starter pack. This is what the starter pack sounds like. I can't show it to you. <laughs> so this is what it sounds like. It's a big box, it's full of bricks, and what we're going to do is we're going to build that toy pad that then lights up. This is also full of minifigure characters. We've got in here Batman, Wildstar from the Lego movie, Gandalf as well, vehicles, the Batmobile is in here, and then those characters are going to go on an adventure through the game, and when we place the characters on the toy pad, they come to life in the game, we can control them. So what you can see on the screen from the start is just a taste of some of the different characters um, that you can play in LEGO Dimensions. We mix up all the different LEGO worlds. So this has never been done before. This isn't a game just set in one dimension, this is LEGO Dimensions. And that means that Gandalf from Lord of the Rings is going to battle through the adventure right alongside Batman. And that there are loads of extra characters you can put in from anywhere your imagination can go. And people have been really surprised by the diversity of different worlds and characters we've been able to bring into the game. We've had incredible reaction to all the different worlds that we've got out here. But in particular, there are some fan favourites um, like Ghostbusters like Back to the Future, like Doctor Who, where we've had requests over many years. I've been working on LEGO games for more than 10 years, right since the very first LEGO Star Wars. And over the years, we always go and we say, what LEGO game do you want to see? And there are some that have come up again and again, and we've always been able to say, well, we've unfortunately, we're not able to do that. And now, for the first time, all our dreams have come true. This is what we've been building up to. And everything we want to put in one game, all together at last. So tell me about the story here. What's happening with Robin right now? He's getting sucked into a portal, it seems. That's right, poor old Robin there in Gotham City in the DC Universe dimension has just been sucked into a rift. Now these rifts have been opened up by the villain who's amazingly played by Gary Oldman. And they take place, then the rifts opening up in all the different LEGO dimensions. So we started off in Gotham City with Batman and we're just going to put Gandalf onto the toy pad. Then we're going to go to another LEGO dimension here. This is Lord of the Rings dimension. And you'll see that a different character is going to be sucked through the rift here because our villain, Lord Vortek, is trying to get the prime elements from the different Lego dimensions. So he's trying to get the ruby slippers from Wizard of Oz World. He's trying to get the cake from Portal World. And here he's trying to get the one ring from Lord of the Rings World. And what that means with all these different dimensions in play is that we can mix them up. So Gandalf, unfortunately, now is, is plummeting towards the Balrog. But what you don't see in the movie is the rift open up and here comes the Batmobile and now it's going to be Gandalf and Batman against the Borog and this is this is just a, a foretaste of uh, the mashup the mixing together of these different dimensions that the story in this game is going to take you through. This must have been insane to write back at the office, like having all these different characters interact with each other. Just the most fun thing. And you'll see you know, the opportunity for jokes as characters meet, different versions of themselves or you know, and, and nods and winks where we've, we've got actors who perhaps play multiple characters. We've got Chris Pratt, for example, who plays both Emmett in the Lego movie uh, and of course Owen in Jurassic World. And, you know, when those characters meet each other, there's really funny exchanges that they can have with each other. Do you sort of have to be extra careful when you're mixing so many sort of franchises together? Like, are there certain things that you can't, you just can't have Gandalf doing, or, you know, there's some things that Batman isn't allowed to do? Because we're in a Lego dimension, um, anything is possible. You know, there should be no limits on creativity. It's just the same as when children play with the bricks. Don't forget, you know, this is where, this is where we're coming from and there's no one in the room to prevent you from mixing up your characters when you're playing in your bedroom. Yeah. So it should be the same in the video games. So we're here in the Planet Vorton. Um, we're going to start um, our adventure now by placing our three starter pack main adventure characters onto the toy pad and we'll see them appear through the gateway. And that's Batman, Gandalf, Wald style, and you'll also get the Batmobile in the starter kit, is that right? That's right, that's absolutely right. And then the extra characters that you can buy um, will unlock 
uh, access to Adventure Hub um, spaces, which we'll play in a minute. We'll, we'll, we'll try some of those different characters, as well as just giving you like ridiculous things that you can do in the levels. Yeah. Um, yes. So let's talk about that. It's obviously the main narrative, which you know we're seeing the cutscene of now. You mentioned Adventure Worlds. Can you explain what that is? So and, uh, there's a, the main game has got 14 levels through the story, each one taking you to a different Lego dimension. Uh, and that's all completely playable with the three characters you get in the starter pack. You can get all the trophies in the game, you can finish the story um, uh, with, with those three characters and that one vehicle, the Batmobile. But there are additional collectible characters and vehicles you can add to enhance your collection and give you more options. And if you were to drop one of them on, in fact, let's just drop someone in now. Who do you want to see? I'll, I'll leave it up to you, Renan. Uh, let's see. We, ha we have a whole range of um, characters in front of me here. Let's go for Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. I have not seen Homer in action yet. So you just drop him on, place him on the pad, and then immediately he appears in the game. How many can you have at any one time? Seven. Seven. So there's plenty of room on that pad for different characters, and that includes vehicles and um, various different accessories as well. And obviously, you know, we're looking at a little bit of actual gameplay now. So this looks like sort of the classic Lego gameplay in which, you know, each of the characters has their own unique sort of like abilities and movesets. Is that right? Oh, that's right. So switching between the different characters um, has be always been a part of our Lego games. And um, there's, a, there's, there's the stuff that you would find familiar here. We're picking up these Lego studs. We're going to be searching for and collecting gold bricks and red bricks. And we'll be solving puzzles by using, you know, here's Gandalf's magic there getting the Lego bricks down that we're going to use to build the gateway. Um, but there are also loads and loads of new functions and features as well that the new characters have. If you switch to, for example, let's switch to Homer now and we'll just see one of his abilities that he can do when he drinks his cola there. He's got an amazing belt power. It will break, break Lego. Jordan really loved that. Okay. Jordan and Alice really loved that. Okay. That. Or you can go into Evil Angry Homer as well. Oh my. Which enables you to stomp through the levels like a giant. So. There's loads of value in each of the different characters, as well as their you know, distinctive personalities, animations, and voices. And as always, to, you know, to get through the different puzzles and challenges in the game, you'll have to use a mix and match of the different characters' abilities in order to, 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 to progress. Is that right? Not just the different character abilities mm -hmm. now. That's, that's what we've had in previous LEGO games. But now you also use the toy pad, almost like, almost like another game controller. Mm -hmm. Because it's lighting up and it's um, giving you the options to move the characters around physically, mm -hmm. um, there are times in the game where where you have to move them in order to like evade an attack, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. or to be able to do a special kind of build, um, or to solve new puzzles that we've put with new, completely new features, and uh, with the new keystone features that are there on the toy pad, which we'll show you as we progress through a little bit more. So we're, what we're going to do is we're building the gateway here now. We've uh -huh. got Wildstyle using some of her abilities, which includes being able to jump coolly between these two walls. She's going to then get up to the top here uh, and smash down some more bricks so that we can create the collection of bricks we need to actually build the Lego gateway that's going to take us to all the other mm -hmm. dimensions. So here she goes and you'll notice she's using her, her moves and her animation just like we do in the movie. She's, she doesn't bend in the way that the Lego video game characters do. Mm -hmm. She's voiced by Elizabeth Banks from the movie. And now we've got an example of the sort of portal interaction that you'll be able to do. So what's happening here is the message is flashing up telling you to place Wildstar, the master builder character, into the central area of the toy pad. There are three areas. The central area there will mean that she's now got, she's taken over those bricks in the middle, and now she's able to take over the bricks on the right. As we move her, then we're going to move her again onto the left. She'll take those three bricks, and now she's able to build them into what will become our gateway. And this is what I was saying. You get the actual instructions up here now. I've got the bricks here. I'll do that again because I love shaking them. It's a fantastic hands-on feeling. That there's the sheer sort of, sort of pleasure of handling the bricks and then fitting them together and snapping them together. Um, and bringing that to match the virtual experience of puzzle solving um, we, you know, is something that we've never dreamt of being able to do before, and we're so thrilled with it. And it looks like it's asking you to build the Batmobile now, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Let's get a vehicle in. So we've been playing with these, we're playing with these characters, um, but I also mentioned that uh, you can put in vehicles and accessories. So here's the first one. This is with the starter pack, the Batmobile. Of course, any character can ride in the vehicles or control uh, the Velociraptor or the Sentry Turret or the Exoskeletons, everything that you can build. Um, so let's build. That's the sound of me building that. We'll build the Batmobile <laughs> uh, and then we're going to write to the toy tag because we built the Batmobile and 
as I mentioned earlier, you can rebuild it into different vehicles. Yeah. Uh, and now we've got Homer driving the Batmobile. Homer's on the Batmobile. He's Batmobile. having a fantastic time. He's going to use um, this device here with the power of the Batmobile to actually give that energy into and power up the gateway that's going to take us into the different LEGO dimensions. So here it comes. Mm. We're going to activate one of those rifts. And that's going to enable our, our adventure characters to go and uh, embark on what will be the first level of the story, which is actually the Wizard of Oz. The way uh, we've decided which uh, dimensions we want to go into um, are by picking our many of our favorite worlds. We've always been privileged to be able to play with the world's favorite characters uh, and stories and to be able to bring them together um, in this one. It was just a case of thinking um, you know, where we wanted to go. Let's go to, we've had great fun in Gotham City before in the DC Universe, let's, let's explore that. But also let's go to new places we've never been to before, like the world of The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, or the world of, of Portal as well. And you've got some, it's got a good mix of, you know, more of the newer franchises, kid-friendly franchises like, you know, Ninjago and Chima. Sure. And also, yeah, some of the older ones that would appeal to, you know, like parents. So like, you, you mentioned Ghostbusters and Back to the Future. Now, how important was it to, you know, to get some of those older franchises in to, you know, get that parent buy-in as well? So, it, it, I mean, it was, it was really, really important to, to go places that people wouldn't expect and mm -hmm. um, places that only Lego could go to as well. And I think you're absolutely Right, it's the bringing together of those where a parent can be excited about something that they remember um, and then share that, that feeling, that thrill and that pleasure um, with you know, someone who's new to that. This is probably going to be the first experience that, um, that some children have of, uh, of Ghostbusters, possibly even of Doctor Who, um, so quite possibly of, of here we are in, um, in Oz. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, we're following that yellow brick road. But now with Homer, so we can put the uh, the familiar and the unfamiliar together. So, so you can mix and match anyone in any of the yeah. Let's let's put levels, someone right? who, let's put someone else in. Let's take out Homer, okay. and let's put in. I, I see um, who's that from Portal over there. Yes, we've got Chell here. Chell, yeah. Chell, Chell here from Portal with her portal gun. Okay. And she can come in. How does the portal gun work in here? So we'll just demonstrate here. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And in the portal level, uh, you can use the power of the toy pad to open up rifts, which will enable you to, okay. to, to move between spaces. So you have no restrictions. You can mix and match in, in, yep. in any of these, like, uh, sing, uh, in this campaign, is that right? Yep, okay. Abs absolutely. And, it, you know, you don't even have to, uh, to, to buy and own the characters. You can come around to a friend's house, take mm -hmm. your characters, drop them on the toy pad. Not only will that enable those characters to appear in the story, but you can then... Once you've got a character, unlock their adventure hub world as well. Are any characters essential? Like, will you need Gandalf and Wildstyle and Batman throughout the entire campaign? Or? Gandalf, Batman and Wildstyle will get you through the campaign and mm -hmm. enable you to unlock all, all, all the trophies that are there in the game. Um, it's their story that's told in the cutscenes. Um, but uh, you can put in other characters uh, entirely as you want to. As you do. Okay. So we're using some of the different character powers here. Batman's using his grapple hook, and we've got a puzzle up ahead here where the poppies are going to send him to sleep. Uh, so we're going to have to find some way to get through this barrier. We're going to wake him up, first of all, by pounding the circle button, okay, so and then find a vehicle to drop in. We could drop in with a Batmobile, mm -hmm. but equally, it's not just the characters we can drop in with. We could put in a Velociraptor. The Velociraptor Will that work? is a vehicle? Yeah, the Velociraptor is a vehicle. I'm going to test okay. this out. I'm actually not sure. I'm now experimenting live. Is the Velociraptor <laughs> going to go through the poppies or will the Velociraptor go to sleep? Well, the Velociraptor is not strong and not, not powerful enough. He's going to sleep. Because he's a... He or she. Mm. She is this clever girl, isn't it? So she's, <laughs> Because she is, uh, is alive, she's also affected by the, character, the, uh, the soporific effect of the poppies. Simpsons car. Oh, Simpsons car. Okay. Driven now by Batman. By Batman. You need to have it's an open top car. It's not the ride right he's used to. <laughs> okay. uh, we'll enable you to smash right through those. So, thank you for showing us LEGO Dimensions, Jonathan. I know it's out real soon. Can you tell us when it's out and what platforms is coming out? Of course. LEGO Dimensions is out on September the 27th, real soon. And it's out on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii U. So, there's no excuse not playing LEGO Dimensions. And that's not it um, as well, right? Because you'll have more packs and more characters coming out um, as the months progress, is that correct? Yeah, this is, this is a platform for us. So the toy hub that you uh, buy, 
from the start and that you build will enable you to play with all future characters that we release. So we have a fantastic range available at the start. You've got great characters in the starter pack, lots of characters from the start in fun packs and level packs, but we're going to be releasing more over the years ahead. And they will all work with that base set. Okay, thank you very much, Jonathan Smith. Thank you, it's been my pleasure. Because he's a heartless villain. No, I'm heartless. He's brainless. Am I still a villain, though? I say something scary. What? Is it Toto again? Oh, my, you are heartless. No. Oh, no.